Okay, welcome back to Radical Red. Since the last episode, we just grinded every Pokemon up to level 22. Grinded? Ground? We ground every Pokemon up to level 22, which is the level cap right now. We have the battle with Archer coming up, but we did pick up all the items in Mount Moon, because honestly, for the most part in this game, the normal trainers are just normal trainers. They're not too bad. But we did pick up a Moonstone. I don't think we got a Firestone, which is weird because there has been a Waterstone and there has been a Thunderstone, but no Firestone. So hopefully we come across one at some point. But this is a this is a great Pokemon to have right now because we're about to go up against Archer, who I think has ended more of my runs on stream than any other trainer, which is just ridiculous. It shouldn't be that hard. Um, yeah, I don't think we got. Just check. Yeah, we didn't get a Firestone, so no evolution for stake just yet. Uh, but we do have a bit of money. We got Star Pieces and Stardust. So I am going to go in here and I'm going to pay the seven and a half thousand. And I'm going to make Rapidash Adamant because right now, oh, didn't mean to do that. Right now, or well, previously, his nature just wasn't very good. And now we have that boosted attack and we don't have lowered speed. Previously, whatever the nature was, I think it was boosted defense, lowered speed, which is just no, no use to us. Um, and Shadow of Axe is a physical attacker, so that should do us the world of good. And yeah, I think we're ready for this battle. Um, having fairy type moves is actually very helpful because it's a mostly dark type team. And if I'm not mistaken, I think fairy is super effective on those. Although I'm terrible at remembering what fairy does, so I very well could be mistaken. Oh, let's go to the bag. Use your repel. Uh, frustratingly, <laughs> after I talked about not doing the dens, I came in here because we've already got our encounter. And this den right here, I don't know if you can see it because I did battle it just to get um, just to get some items that are worth something. Um, it was Mawile. It was a Mawile in that den. So we could have had Mawile if I hadn't decided against dens. But no, no dens. That, that is the choice. So I think I picked up all the items. I don't think there's really anything left to do. I battled all the trainers up till the fossils. So we've just got this archer battle now. He has a team of three. And I'll tell you what the issue is. His Mighty Enna has Strong Jaw as its ability, and it has Bite, Ice Fang, and Poison Fang, and they're all terrifying. Uh, do we want to lead off with Shadow Facts? I think we do. I think we do. I think. <laughs> um, I hope so. I don't really care what fossil we get. Okay, didn't really mean to pick the Helix, but that's fine. I don't really think it matters. Am I ever gonna get that far? Probably not, so who cares? I'm scared, okay. Hey you, wait right there. Okay. Are you the twerp messing with my grunts? Little kid, you think you're brave, eh? I'll teach you a valuable lesson. And many valuable lessons he has taught me. I think I've lost three or four runs <laughs> against Archer, which is just bizarre. Like, it really shouldn't be that hard. Okay, I think Covet- oh, this is another thing that I didn't point out, is in the bottom right, you can see, like, black, I think, means normal effectiveness, and green means super effective. I think yellow is not very effective, and maybe red is immune, um, so it's kind of handy. Oh yeah, I forgot I had Fake Out. That's not bad though. Oh, it is faster. Oh my god, that is so lucky. Oh <laughs> god. That is incredibly lucky. That sort of allows us to stay in. Hopefully, he sends out Hound Hour, but I suspect we're going into Mighty Enna now. Hmm. Is that the move? That might be the move. It's holding berry juice. So there's no way for him to recover because he can't use items. So 
She'll be burned, her attack will be lowered. I think Will-O-Wisp is the move if it hits. If it doesn't hit, it was a terrible idea, but I'm gonna cross my fingers. Okay, that, that, that might be enough, actually. I didn't even think about that before the battle. You'd think I would have made a strategy of some sort. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's okay. Um, we will die to another one, though, so... Oh, yeah, we will. Okay, um... Oh, you're not ground anymore. Oh, you are gonna be fine with this, though. Maybe we just switch around for a bit and <laughs> let the burn chip away. So you should deal with that fine. Enough. Oh, I guess you're part... I didn't even think... Why did I forget that you're part grass? Jesus. Okay, so it's gonna go... Ice Fang, presumably. Um, <laughs> is this really the move? Just like switching about the place? It doesn't feel like the move, but maybe it is. Howl, that's kind of worrying. Definitely didn't want that. But we're still not... Oh, Burn is doing nothing. I guess we just stay in. I don't think it one-shots. Bite could, I suppose? But I, I don't think so. Mm -hmm, that is worrying. We Maybe we can get a crit? You know? Maybe? Oh, we did. Wow. I wanted the crit to do more. But that speed drop is huge. We got the uh, we got the TM for a low sweep in the cave. Okay, there's the berry juice. Are you going to get one shot? Oh, well, actually, you will attack first. We may as well just stay in. If stake dies, stake dies. But we kind of have to stay in here. Right, that's it. We win. Uh, do we win? Maybe not. <laughs> if we crit, we win. Oh, no, no, the burn. Oh, it's going to be close. If this doesn't kill, stake is dead. Okay, that was lucky. That was really lucky. Uh, and now we're kind of good. I think we kind of wall this thing with... Maybe I'm making that up. I was going to say Wigglytuff is like a good... Got HP grass. What is it gonna go for? Who am I in with? I'm in with you, so it probably goes for Thunderfang, I suppose. It probably goes Thunderfang. In which case, I guess I could go to you and maybe go for Static, like bank on Static coming off. Yeah, I'll make I'll make that switch. Just I th I think we're safe at this point. I really should have probably gone to Geo dude, but oh, hmm. What a weird move. That was really bizarre. Oh. Well, that's caught me off guard. <laughs> Why would you go for incinerate? Was he predicting the switch? I mean, I guess he just predicted the switch. Because surely you go Thunderfang there. Um, I guess... Is he going to go incinerate again? I guess at this point you go incinerate again. But now I'm going to lose my berry. Okay, I, I guess an incinerate is coming. That was a really weird move, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, now a Thunderfang must be coming, right? What else would you do here? We probably live a Thunderfang, though. And we're faster, okay. Okay, well, that, that does it. We're, we're set now. As long as we live the... Oh. We got lucky here. <laughs> We got really lucky, and we got through without a death. That is rare. That is really rare. Actually, I think the times I've done this battle, I've basically either lost the whole run or got through without a death. That's how that tends to go. Whatever. We've done everything we needed. I won't be as nice to you next time. I'll be seeing you, FJ. I think probably what happened there, because usually... The reason it's so difficult is if you mess up, like, the first turn against his Mightyena, that thing is just a nightmare to deal with, because once it sets up, it's super fast, it's got strong jaw, it can howl, and then its bite moves are, like, all one-hit KOs. So that's why it's such a difficult proposition, usually. I actually think that first turn Will-O-Wisp hitting was incredibly useful. So let's... Does anything evolve with the Sunstone? Um, they've changed something, so I genuinely... I have no idea. Who's even in the team? No, nobody uses it. Okay. Uh, let's go to the move tutors. I don't actually remember what they do. 
We're, we're already getting to the point in the game where I forget everything. Uh, if you're serious about trying to take this. Macho Brace, okay. Take that. <laughs> uh, it's always work. Should be stronger, yep, yeah, sure. What, what are you doing? Power Up Punch, okay, that's nice. Uh, yeah, Low Sweep in Mount Moon, which I think is a newish addition to this game. I'll probably come back and do that later. The, the dens are just handy because you get some, like, good items out of them, but for the most part, I'm probably just gonna do them off camera because they take a while and, well, they don't take that long. We only do one on camera just to show what they are. Okay, let's go heal. That went shockingly well. The level cap is now up to 27, but we can probably go and take on Gary, honestly. He's not, he's not like up at 27 or anything where it would be super dangerous. What I'm going to do first actually is I will get the egg. If I remember where it is, I think it's in here. If it's you, I think it is. Hi there, you're a trainer, aren't you? I have an egg sent to me by a friend. Even he doesn't know where it's from. Would you like it? 5,000 Poké Dollars? Yes, I absolutely would. So here is our Cerulean encounter. Um, I don't think I really needed to read that. I think it was the exact same as the last one. But yes, uh, let's jump cut to it hatching. Okay, here we go. Everyone, cross your fingers for an electric type because if we don't get one, we're gonna be in big trouble for Misty. Uh, we just, maybe not, uh, just anything, just something good. Not a fire type, please. That is absolutely okay. Oh, uh, well, it's not. <laughs> All of her team members have ice type moves, so it's not that okay. But it could certainly be good in the future. Okay, this is Chomp the Gibble. Um, cr wait, what? That was an egg. What? What? Why did our egg not get S's? Uh, what the hell? That's not fair. The egg is supposed to have all S's. <laughs> oh, you're so bad now. Well, that sucks. Did they change it? The egg, not all S's, but the egg is supposed to have an S on attack, special attack, and speed. So, don't know what's gone on there. But, just, actually, we've had this before with the Cerulean egg. That it starts off with the wrong moves. Maybe oh, that could be the right move set. But I had a why not out of this egg before, and it started off with a completely wrong move set. But it learned the right moves, so I don't actually know what's gone on there. Maybe this egg is just glitched. But that is an unfortunate Pokemon to get because all of Misty's team know Ice type moves, so not ideal. We've got the rival battle with Gary now. It's not the best team for it, but we're, we're okay. We've got an okay team for this. I think we'll be all right. Maybe. Yo, FJ, you're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, FJ. Nearly read that completely wrong, but I didn't. Okay, I, so he leads with Curlia, I believe. We we should be okay here, I think. So it is still Psychic and Fairy. I think we should go Flame Charge. We are faster. Um, he doesn't really have anything that I'm too worried about. Yeah, Confusion is kind of its best bet here, which shouldn't be too bad. Okay, right. Uh, okay, well that's bad because this should be Charmeleon. Okay. Well, we're going to be way faster than it. Um, I don't know what this is really going to go for. Scratch, I suppose? Uh, I... Mm. Yeah, we don't really have anything for it is the problem. Um, Covet, maybe? See how much this does? Well, we got a crit. <laughs> That's pretty lucky. I... I think it's just going to go for Scratch, yeah. Um, are we gonna... Okay. To Rock Croft? What's he going for now? He's just... <laughs> I guess this Galarian Ponyta is kind of... A wall for his team? I mean, Rock Ruff is gonna go Rock Tomb, obviously. So I guess we go into Iggy, but what do we do once we've got Iggy in? 
Who else could we go to? You're probably not that bothered by the rocks. Um... Yeah, I guess we go in... Well, but then he's probably gonna... Okay, this is gonna... I think this is about to become a mess. You should take Rock Tomb. Okay, I think. It shouldn't be too bad. So... That's okay. Speed Drop is fine. If you stay in... That's the move. Obviously, that's the move. But if you're about to switch... <laughs> and I suspect you're about to switch... And it could go either way. He's got Staravia and Charmeleon. So he could switch to either of them. Do I just bank on him staying in? I'm going to bank on him staying in, but I think he's going to switch. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Works for us. Because we're about to get a lot of this health back with Mega Drain. Which I would assume is going to one-shot this thing. Okay, that's perfect. I, I, I didn't know whether he was going to switch. But the thing is... When there's two different Pokemon he can switch to and they're different types, it's tough to really make a prediction on that. So, that's got Intimidate, that's fine. It's presumably going to go Wing Attack. So let's get in Iggy. Because it's got nothing for this at all. It's got Quick Attack, Wing Attack, it's not going to be able to do much. But that means he's probably going to switch. <laughs> this is like, this is what this game is like. The thing is, nothing is really happy about Thunder Punch. Nothing's happy about SmackDown, though. They're they're less happy about SmackDown, so let's go SmackDown. Because this way, even if he had switched and it went to Charmeleon, we would have been fine. Okay. Um, Is he going to switch now? It doesn't really matter. I guess we stay in. Okay. Yeah, that's already it. In fairness, Iggy was just like an amazing capture. Because he has been incredibly clutch for the battles we've had him for. Like, we really needed him. Okay, Curly is back. Uh, you have Magical Leaf, uh, which I suspect is what's coming. So, do we go to Stake? Or do we go back to you? Or do we just go to... Not you, because it's got Confusion. I think we go to you. Um... How much was... Yeah, I think we go to you. Confusion didn't do too much. It was like 13 or something. And we should be able to... Alright, oh, I forgot this was coming first. So that'll hopefully do... Alright, I was going to say 5 or less. So that's perfect. And then this will kill or... Does it switch? I'd like to get the speed boost, but I suppose... Well, no, that's not very effective anyway. Yeah, we'll go flame charge. Right, I thought, I thought about that, but... It doesn't really matter. Um, have we already... Did we already waste it Citrus Berry? I'm pretty sure we did. So, we got the speed up. Do we just stay in at this point? We can take a couple of scratches, I think, so we may as well just stay in. Because I think we take... Two? Maybe? Yeah, we take another, so we may as well stay in. And, uh, finish this. Okay. Unless this crits. Which it does not. There we go. Okay. Down to just Carlia. No deaths. <laughs> Fingers crossed we get through this unharmed. I actually don't think I've ever lost anything in this battle. Not that I can remember. Um, we should be faster. We should kill from there. So let's stay in. It's Flame Wheel. Glarian Ponyta. Also been very clutch so far. And there we go. Up to 23 presumably? No? Did I not? No, okay, no, right right on the edge. Another two grand. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's... Bill's world famous as a Pokemon... <laughs> I thought that made no sense. I thought it was supposed to say... Bill's a world famous Pokemaniac. Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Okay, another battle? Okay, hey. <laughs> oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you this. Doesn't say that. I'll give you a little present as a favor. The Poke Rider. This is a new addition that I can, uh, that is obviously not in Fire Red and Leaf Green. 
which we can register right now. I always forget that I have this, so it's good that I was paying attention there. Because usually he gives you teachy TV there or something. It's fly! You can fly right from here, which obviously makes sense. The game doesn't really need to limit you to flying, but so we can fly straight away, which is really, really nice. I think that's probably going to do it for big battles in this episode. I think we're just going to go and get our last two encounters. So we'll, we'll battle everyone on Nugget Bridge. Okay, I'm probably just going to cut all of that out because that was like seven or eight minutes of just really easy battles. Well, maybe not that. It was probably like five minutes. Um, they're really easy battles. I mean, Shadowfax was literally the only Pokemon I used. I think we literally just used Flame Wheel or maybe one Covet. Yeah, so we just <laughs> flame wheeled and covered it our way to here. This guy might have more. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I like the idea that I'm not talking and he's just like yelling in my face. Axe you? That should be fine. Oh yeah, it's definitely fine. We've got covered. <laughs> We're definitely one-shotting this. I, I'm i always wary of Axew because I did a sword wonder lock or surprise trade lock or whatever you want to call it on stream and an Axew like random encounter in the wild absolutely destroyed my Gyarados, which uh, was not fun. Doesn't feel like something that should happen, but it did. And I didn't even catch it in the end, so that was nice. Okay, Golbat. Uh, should be fine on this. Let's go Flame Wheel. Not Confuse Ray, come on. Just be nice, just attack me. That's fine. Actually, well, we should probably be scared here. Because it's probably got some poison move. Okay, we broke through. I will switch, just to be safe. Because I do not want a poison move. Uh, nobody really does. Uh, I'll go to Eggy. Eggy can attack with Thunder Punch, which is nice. Or Smackdown. Eh, either. Okay, it does not have a poison move then, probably. That's fine. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wait, I was that's what I'm trying to avoid. You don't have to use Confuse Ray. Just just be nice about it. Can we there we go. Got through both times. That seems extraordinarily lucky for me. Okay. So, Shadow Fox is 25, Iggy up to 24. So this next grass has, oh, no, 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 um, actually, yes, probably. <laughs> uh, I actually am going to take self-destruct. We have sturdy, you never know. Like, this game is incredibly tough. Sometimes you're going to have to make sacrifices, and maybe that's a sacrifice that we're going to have to make. It feels like a, a smart decision to take it. This next patch of grass, oh that's nice, uh, which I will switch Mareep to the front for, has P-Dove, Oddish, Mareep, Pachirisu, Stunky, Baneri, oh by the way, it's not Mareep anymore, <laughs> it's Flaffy, I don't even know if I mentioned that, uh, it evolved off screen, but that that was fine, I was just trying to get everything up, yeah, it evolved, so not, not Mareep anymore. Uh, Baneri, Phantump, Flabebe, Pumpkaboo again, and Yanma. So, I guess we're pulling for Pachirisu. That feels like the best option, seeing as we've got Mareep. Did I even say Snubble? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one, I think. <laughs> what I just read to you was the next route. Uh, yeah, this one was Snubble, Cotton A. Wismer, Abra, Carablast, Illumise, Magby, Farfetch'd, Ralts, and Galarian Ponyta. Uh, so, eh. I guess we take Snubble. I don't actually know what level Snubble evolves at. Is it a level? I think it is. But that, I mean, it could be good. It could be good. But that was kind of dangerous. I wasn't, I didn't think it would kill, but it definitely easily could have. Okay, hopefully we get this in one. It's not bad. What would I have preferred? I mean, Abra would have ran. Illumise is actually really good, which we experienced on stream in the second ever run of this game. Illumise is really good in this. So that would have been nice, but 
So Farfetched is probably what I would have liked, because Bugsy... We do not have a good team for Bugsy. Uh, you might think we've got lots of fire types, so that's nice, but it is raining during the battle with him. So, no fun. So, this is Riga. Rash Nature. Intimidate is really good. Great special attack. Like, A plus a boosted nature, but that's no use to us. Uh, we, we do want that attack boosted, probably. Thunderfang is really good. Actually, if Riga evolves before level 27, then Riga could be very valuable. If not, probably not going to be super useful, but Intimidate is always nice. Intimidate can be very handy. So I'm, I'm not too mad about that. I'm not mad at all. That could be useful. Okay, so I think with editing, this is probably coming up on half an hour, so we're going to end off on this encounter. I'm gonna grab this item. Leaf Stone. Do I need a Leaf Stone? Leaf Stone? How is Firestone the only thing I don't have? Do I need a Leaf Stone? I don't think I do. Oh, is does Cacne evolve by Leaf Stone? I don't think it does. But if it does, that is nice. Let's grab the Petcha Berry. Ooh, what do we need here? Oh, this is the one with Pachirisu, so Pachirisu, please. <laughs> that would be nice. Ordno. Did I read off Ordno? What what route do I have the encounters for? I don't know what route I got the encounters for, but it is not this one. <laughs> I knew Ordno was here as well, because this is where I usually go to grind. Um, I guess Ordno's nice, maybe? I, I, genu I genuinely have never used Ordno, so I have no idea. Maybe. Could be good. Uh, this shouldn't... Uh, Ordno's really bulky. This shouldn't do anything, really. There we go. It's got Refresh, Disarm, Cry. That's kind of annoying for catching it, but handy enough, I guess. Oh, Baby Doll Eyes is kind of handy. Maybe this is good. Um, we are now out of encounters. Well, actually, we can go on. We In this game, you can move on past Cerulean before battling Misty after you've gone to Bill, so maybe we'll have to do that. In between episodes, I'll look at the team and try and judge if it's actually good enough to beat Misty. And if not, we may have to move on and get our next few encounters and see if we can get something good. Because you can go as far as Vermilion and get like three or four more encounters, which could make the difference. Uh, let's hope we can catch this in one. I've got a feeling this has a really low catch rate, so hopefully not. Uh, I'm going to take a plump on 45. Okay, there you go. First time. Gotcha. Ordno was caught. Okay, this is Chance, the Ordno. Pure normal with Regenerator. Regenerator is nice. God-awful stats. I mean, the B plus on HP is nice, but Ds on defense and special defense. A plus on speed is probably the last one you would want an A plus on. Literally anything else. Um, what is that ability? Modest? Yeah. Jeez. Not great. Um, <laughs> we've been screwed on stats the whole way, so not surprising. But yeah, next episode... I don't know what next episode's going to be. It might be battling Bugsy. It might be battling Misty. It might be just moving on and getting encounters. There's also a Brendan battle in the next city. So, next episode could be anything. I will have to look at all the teams we're taking on, look at the Pokemon we have, grind everything up, and then make a judgement call on what makes the most sense. But yeah, so far, still three deaths, I think? I believe. Hopefully just three. Oh, I can check. <laughs> I, I don't actually know. I don't, I don't think we lost anything since Faulkner and Brock. We didn't lose anything against Falcon or just Brock, right? So, yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Three deaths, we've now got 11 Pokemon available to us. So, it will be interesting. I think, hopefully, we'll be taking on Misty. Can't say for sure. But yes, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.